so of course i said yes um so <laughs> she sent it me through the post so thank you very much patricia um i'm looking forward to to trying this out because i have been quite interested when i've seen people <laughs> popping uh use it so it is like uh, a stain <laughs> so there we go it's a pretty big jar as well yeah i mean that's my hand i've not got small hands i've not got big hands <laughs> so i've got average hands so yeah it's a pretty big thing uh, it's in a nice pot it is plastic so for drop it it's not gonna uh smash so i am going to try out some some different things i will um use it in my you know everyday crafts and and things and i will point out when i am using it or when i have used it but for today <clears throat> i'm just gonna i've got a few different bits of paper um and i thought we'll just paint them see see what they uh, turn out like so i'm just getting a piece of card so i can then lay them on um as i've painted them so i've got my lovely little tim holtz <laughs> distress paintbrush oh it's starting to lose a bristle or two that's not very very good so that's Oh gosh, I'm not very good at opening jars. Oh, I've done it. I can say I'm not very good at opening jars. So is it totally liquid? Yes, it is a liquid. I found it hard to tell on uh, film if it was a liquid or if it was a gel because when people put the brush in, it did look very gel-like, but it is a liquid and it's just a thick uh, liquid. So you're going to have to be careful, obviously, not to... Um, knock it and spill it over so first i've got this doily um i often do run out of tea stain doilies um i have plenty of white ones so to have something that um i can just paint over is brilliant because anyone who's tried to ink doilies will know that it's it's not easy because obviously they fall to bits so yeah this is going on lovely and the doyle is obviously soaking it straight up so the middle bit was easy enough to to paint i'm guessing if i'd have put um something underneath i wonder if the print would have gone through let's try wow that's a bit clever thinking of me wasn't it <laughs> so i've not been up very long so, yeah, I'm going to say my brain's not tired, it's my body. I can't tell you what it feels like brushing it on. It's It doesn't feel tacky or sticky or anything. So, yeah, just nice and easy goes on. So, I am just going to put that. Uh, carefully yeah it has left an imprint so that's nice um i'll just lay it over there a second i'll leave that because i'll leave that to dry and just paint <coughs> paint the back um so i've got a piece of vellum or tracing paper i mean this is called tracing paper but it's 100 gsm and it's very you know the same as vellum I use it to print on and stuff. Now, obviously, as vellum gets damp, it does tend to want to curl up. So, I don't know how this will dry. But, yeah, for me, it, it's um, dark enough. I know some people um, were saying that if you do several coats, um, it obviously <laughs> gets darker. Mm. I'll just leave that to dry like that. I might be able to peel it out. Um, but for me, that's um, d dark enough. It's just the right the right darkness. So this is some just Manila coloured card. This is going on lovely. That's a really nice colour. So to me, it just looks 
as it would look if I'd have totally inked uh, the back of something, but just easier and e you know a more even um, than inken. So that's the cream. So put that over there. Then this is a piece of aged paper. So this is a pack of paper that I buy um, from Amazon and I use it as a emergency if I've run out of um, tea stained paper. So it's very handy to have in. So I would imagine this would come out a little bit darker because it's already got, um, you know, some colour on the page. So that's that. I would imagine this jar is going to last a long time. So this is some craft paper. Um, and craft paper is very difficult. Well, not very difficult. It, yeah, I have to use a really dark um, stain ink. So if you um, ink it with like vintage photo, you can't really see it. So I tend to do it with um, a, a darker one. So that's that's come out a really nice colour. So I'll pop that over here. I'm running out of space. So I thought I'd just try a couple of book pages. I'm, I'm just going to move my wet things around a little bit so I've got some space. Um, so this is a page from a shorthand book. So I'll just pop that on here. So yeah, it's going to be very handy for, say you've printed your digital kit out on white paper and then you've decided that, you know, you wish you'd have done it um, on tea, you know, tea stain paper or whatever. You can just then ink, not ink, paint, paint the back. <laughs> Paint it, don't ink it. So that's that one. And things, I suppose, what are already in your journal. So I've made, um, it bought a, a ready made little uh, journal, and there's a lot of white pages and stuff in there. So this would be handy um, to do that. Could obviously you know, pin the book open type thing, just paint it and, and let it dry. So there's some definite stick in it, um, but the actual product doesn't feel sticky as you're putting it on. It glides really, really nice. But yeah, there's definitely some stick. So that's there. And we'll do this one which is naturally aged this book page so I'll just put some on here and see what that looks like oh my eyes are sore I haven't got my glasses on I should um, when I've done this I'll just pop them pop them on um, And say so when I first got up, I do try and um, like let me eyes wake up a bit naturally before I put my glasses on. But yeah, it's not making anything run, or I don't know. I can't imagine that I would be able to put it over um, digital paper because I've not got um, a laser printer. But um, yeah, if you had a laser printer, you'd obviously be able to uh, use the stains over that. So I'm going to put that over there. Um, I'll keep my brush there so I uh, clean it. So while we're waiting for them to dry a little bit, um, I just wanted, because I've not done any haul videos and things like that, um, I'm just going to get a lozenger because my throat's quite dry. 
Um, yeah, I've not been doing haul videos and stuff. Um, so I've just had quite a biggish uh, order from Amazon, and I just thought I'd I'd show it you. Um, so this is things that I've bought. Um, I've saved up uh, my Patreon money and um, I've, well, I've not got my YouTube check uh, for this month, but I've made a little bit of money from YouTube, from Patreon and obviously from my shop. So thank you to everybody who either shops in my shop or is a Patreon or has been a Patreon and for everybody who's obviously watched the videos and watched the adverts um i've been able to buy you know some things what we'll be able to use next year and i can obviously develop my skills uh, a bit more and start using different things so first i have got some um pencils and i've picked the botanical ones because um these have got more um greens in them oh i wish i'd have <laughs> i wish i'd have opened this i can't see i don't oh, i'll have to poke something in i'm gonna say i don't want to damage my tin let me do it at the side um yeah i'd been looking for pencils for for ages and i, I really did like these and these um castle ones they do different pencils for different things so this one for like um nautical and obviously they've got more blues in and there's like portrait ones so there's more skin colored ones and things like that um so i wanted some pencils because um when i do stamping it would be nice to add some some color to them so um i don't know if you can see the the color chart which that's really very nice um that you can see what what they look like so yeah there was there was a few more greens and and browns and stuff and then obviously uh for your flowers and stuff so i do think you know i wouldn't need any more pencils because um this is enough so that's just a thing with everything they've ever ever made and then i think you get some kind of tutorial with it i don't know if it's a online thing or maybe this is yeah i guess this is a tutorial which will be handy for me because um yeah i can obviously color but um not with the you know the depths and things like that so i will definitely uh have a read of of that so that's that and there's the lovely pencils so yeah i, I really like them so i expect to see <laughs> see me coloring at some point um but i thought they'd be nice <coughs> with the edith olden uh stamps that i've got um and i've got a brayer so i've been wanting one of these for ages because um sorry about the rest um when i'm you know doing the file folders and the envelope journals and you you've stuck down um you know quite a biggish piece and then you know you're wanting to spread your glue evenly so you've not got lumps and bumps all i've been using is my credit card which is fine for smaller areas um but this is gonna be loads better so that's that everything that i have bought um i have put them in the amazon storefront so <clears throat> um if you wanted more information and stuff like that you could could look on there so that's gonna be handy I do need to find it a home so it's easy to to get. Um, I've been talking about wanting a heat tool for, for ages. Um, and they did reduce it 
slightly in the um, Black Friday sale. So I did. I had spoke to Julie at uh, Camellia Crafts um, about heat tools and which ones are the quietest and things like that. And she did um, recommend this one. So I'm yet to get it out the out the box. So. Um, yeah, like today I've just done that sticky down stuff. You know, we're going to, because I'm not opening it yet, um, we're going to obviously be waiting for it to dry, whereas I could have just whizzed over it with my dryer. So it's very good for video purposes. And um, I want to try some embossing and things like that, which, again, I've never tried. Um, I did order some embossing powder and some embossing ink don't think I've put that on the Amazon shop front so I'll do that after I've done this video um I bought them a few weeks ago because I obviously knew that I was uh, gonna have this but I was just waiting to see if they reduced it which which they did so I'm glad I did weigh it so that's a, a Ranger one so I shall open that later um I've had another one of the EK success punches so I've now got the one inch the two inch and this is the one and a half inch um so for me I feel like three circle sizes covers all bases um so that'll be fab and I really really do like their punches um so that's that I've got some of where that can live because it can live with the other circle punches so that is that um also because i just said about stamping and things like that um i have got a stamping board i chose this one um because you can take the back panel off and put a bigger piece of paper over the top um instead of just having it this size because I thought if you've already made a journal and you're just wanting to do you know it on the page you can uh hopefully fit it fit it in 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 so hopefully this will give me some better um stamping when I'm just doing you know clear one-off stamps so this needs a place to live that's going to be easy, you know, for me just to keep pulling it out. So when I use them, I'll obviously um, show you me learning how to use them. And the last two things, I've been wanting one of these for ages. Um, I've seen quite a few people use them. But um, <clears throat> I messaged Fiona at... Um, Miss, Miss paints a lot and she uses the quilting roller quite a lot and um, the rotary cutter so and that, they was pretty inexpensive I did expect them to be uh, quite expensive but they wasn't so I'm going to give this a go because I do think that these are very handy for um when you're making your mats for the fire folders and things like that you know you can actually see underneath so i do think this is going to be a really handy tool and they do these in millions of different sizes and <clears throat> i did think this one would probably cover all bases because I, I don't want millions of different sizes uh ones one's enough so um, otherwise I'll be bursting out of my room and I won't be able to get in here and um, yeah I must get myself some blades because I know how quickly um, you know how many times have we bought something and then a few months later when we need a replacement uh, blade or whatever oh they don't make them anymore don't do them in that size so yeah i'll get myself some some new blades so <clears throat> again thank you so much for for all your support i really really do appreciate it and obviously it does give me the chance to to be able to buy some extra things and to be able to try them out which is obviously 
you know going to add to the projects and and things that that i do so thank you thank you so much and obviously it's a lovely early christmas present because my partner keeps asking what he can buy me and then um, i just can't think of anything um and i know he wouldn't want to buy me craft stuff i mean there's a million craft things i want but um yeah, he, he wants to obviously buy me something, you know, more personal. And it's like, oh, I don't really want anything. Anyway, um, I think these have kind of dried en enough. Um, oh. So, yeah, it's, it's really good. It really is. So, yeah, you're definitely going to be seeing this popping up um, when we're doing the botanicals and, and things like that. So, thank you very much, Patricia. Um, let's, <laughs> I'll just show you my vellum. <laughs> um, it's all stuck together and <laughs> I don't think it's ever going to be right. So, that's going to go in the bin. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I did think that um, that would that would happen i guess if you did it and no i don't know i don't know how you'd get around it curling up unless you totally um like fastened it it down onto something but i don't know i'll i'll let it dry because actually those lines through it might um might add some interest you know because it's not sticky now so yeah I, it's actually given it quite um like a leathery feel that's quite interesting because like i've just said about <clears throat> i could actually get an a4 piece of it and clip it down and perhaps paint paint over it and if you perhaps did it really thin let it dry do another coat um yeah, but I think that's going to be really interesting as it dries. Um, but I do, I do think it's going to be very handy for for the doilers, and um, yeah, next time I'll do a full one and obviously get some some pattern uh, because if I'd have then done that over this, it it would have given it some some nice interest. So that's me this morning <laughs> so thanks a lot for for joining me i will leave <coughs> the links to patricia's channel and to patricia's etsy shop so it's patricia Verimonte. i'm sure many of you in fact you know i guess all of you have have probably heard of her anyway um and what else was I going to say? Everything that I've shown you today, like I say, I have put in the um, Amazon storefront and the, descri the description. No, the links will be in the description. So again, thank you very much for your support, all your um, comments and stuff. Um, I love replying uh, back to you all. So... Thank you very much. I think we've just watched the first part of the, the winter um, projects. So we've had the beautiful um, after midnight design uh, envelope folio. Oh, absolutely stunning. And it's so funny because, like I say, I had looked at that kit a couple of times and I'd, I'd seen the crows and it, it just put me off. But because Marie, you know, offered me a kit, um, I just thought, well, I don't, you know, I don't have to use those bits. And and like I said, I didn't use those bits. And you didn't need to use those bits anyway because the kit was so, so humongous. And it was absolutely stunning. I really, really enjoyed um, using it. Um, so in the future, um, I might do some more guest um projects for for marie um so yeah thoroughly enjoyed it so this week i've been working on the artie maze um kit a winter's tale so they will start on monday and um yeah some really fun things in that so 
I'm going. <laughs> See you soon. Bye.